Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another great classic arcade game video for you this evening. This is Atari's 1986 Rolling Thunder. Pretty cool game. It's a lot like Shinobi. I read somebody mention that online and I thought, you know what? They got a good point. It's uh, It even looks like it. Well, the art's better, but it, the way the levels are set up and things, it looks like Shinobi. The cabinet is pretty cool. Now this particular one is in really nice shape, but it doesn't have the side art, unfortunately. Part little remnants of one side of it were still there, but it was in pretty rough shape, so it had to go. But uh, we might have to try to track some down to make it look a little better, because it's pretty cool side art. It's got some little round areas and looks neat. But uh, this is uh, this was a pretty big game back in the day. It wasn't wasn't. Uh, you know, one of their most successful games or anything, but it did do pretty good. Most people have heard of it and remember it. Um, so we figured we'd shoot a little video of it if you haven't seen it in a long time. It was very similar to the the cabinet-wise. It was very similar to the stuff that the other stuff that Atari was doing around the time. So, for instance, it uh, it looks a lot like their System One games. So the control panel kind of looks like Marble Madness and things. From what I understand, that control panel. Um, is the same basically like you can take an Atari system one control panel and put it on here too why you would do that I do not know but you could it's uh, basically the same size and everything um, and another interesting choice they made was that <laughs> there's nothing behind here it's, it's open and there's no light behind it so the marquee doesn't light up but it's you know it looks pretty nice rolling thunder I believe that's the name of like this the the, uh, the special ops group that the guy belongs to Let's see here. rolling thunder is engineered and designed by namco limited manufactured by atari games trademark and copyright namco 1986 and the side art originally on it was like around this area and it was like a big circle with a guy with his gun and then there were a couple more circles up through here pretty nice um about the marquee not lighting up. If you think about it, around this same time was when Atari brought out their famous gauntlet. And it had the same thing. The, the marquee didn't light up. Um, so I don't know why they chose to do that for a little while. I guess they were just trying to make things look a little different. Because you really wouldn't save much money by, by keeping that light out of there. But uh, both gauntlet and rolling thunder had no marquee light. Peculiar, folks. Very peculiar. So... It's this, this is the original K7000 monitor, Wells Garner K7000 monitor. Uh, it wasn't working when we got it. We rebuilt it and put a new flyback in it and everything. Got it looking pretty nice. Um, and they had this interesting thing where there's one speaker right there. That's just how they designed it, folks. So let's, uh, let's read over the instructions and we can see what's up. All right. Rescue your alley. Ally. <laughs> Rescue your ally held hostage. The enemy headquarters, the ultimate goal. Jump upstairs. Move control forward while pressing jump button. They say forward, but they mean up. Right? Jump downstairs. Move control down while pressing jump button. And then you got the guy. The artwork in this is all pretty cool. And it has a... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Atari's kind of cheesy sounds from the time. Now, since it's a Namco game, I guess it's Namco's cheesy sounds from the time. But it, the sounds and even the graphics look a lot like uh, um, uh, things like Championship Sprint and Vindicators, which were other Atari games at, around that time. All right. Arms and bullets are kept behind the following doors. So the one that says bullet, you can obtain bullets by entering this door. And the one that says arms, you can attain arms by entering this door. Move the joystick upward in front of the door. It will be a miss if the life gauge reaches zero or time expires. So we'll play it a little bit and you can see the you, you can see the, the very colorful, very uh, nicely animated graphics. Um, it almost looks has like a comic book look to it. Um, I mean, this is, you know, this is kind of how a lot of the cartoons look. It kind of looks like a, like Scooby Doo looked a little bit. You know? It's got that '70s style or '60s style look to it. Um, 
very interesting animations and also i'll turn up the music so you can hear uh the cheese factor take it through the roof I'll be back in just a sec Check out how cool the animations are. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, we're going to play it a little bit. I got the sound turned up a little bit. To start, push only one player's button. Advance to higher areas by holding down start button and moving control panel to the control to the right. We're not going to do that though, people. I'm a novice. All right, so you can shoot, but you got a certain number of bullets. And if you hold up and jump, you jump real high, which make, means you can jump up to the second level. If you hold down and jump, you go back down. Weird sounds like the footsteps. And check out the music, it'll, it'll like actually get quiet. And you can stay in if you hold up. so slow.
To continue game, press one player's button. So I was trying to go a little quicker. Boy, if you ran out of bullets, you'd be in trouble. like those tires. <laughs> oh, I ran out of bullets like I was talking about. Oh no, what am I going to do? I might have to be more frugal with the bullets, people. attacked me. I'm continuing. <laughs> I'm continuing on the first level at the very first part. extra bullets. Oh, man. Should have hit that G. 
jump button. I guess they all need one bullet. They all need one bullet, but if you shoot them in the legs, they need two bullets. Or something like that. That must be my alley. He thought he was going to get me with that sneaky uh, down on the ground attack. Didn't happen. You can't see what's coming, you know. Like that. Oh, well. There we go, people. That is the super cool rolling thunder. I need a little more time on it to get good with it. Look at him. I have failed, folks. But if you've watched my videos before, you know that that often happens. Now, by the time you see rolling thunder, it may have rolled off to someone else's game room. We may not even have it available for sale anymore. But that's all right. Just check out our website, lionsarcade.com. You can see everything that we have available for sale right now on lionsarcade.com. Even if it's 10 years from now. Never mind the date. Just go check out our website. Now, if you're local, stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. And that's 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina, which is a little more famous than Rock Hill. Although uh, Rock Hill was mentioned once in a Chuck Berry song. Now, if you're not local so you can't come by, no matter what Chuck Berry said, and you 
uh, don't want to check out our website because you don't want to buy something that costs hundreds of dollars. Well, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. Hey, it's free. And every time we put up a new video, it will let you know. Now, make sure you let us know in the uh, comments below what you think about this video and what you think about this game. And if you remember playing it back in the day, we will see you on the next video.